Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. So today we're gonna continue our lesson for the next topic, which is related to heat exchanger. Actually, in chapter five, and if you still remember, we already cover about the type of heat transfer previously, where we already cover about. A heat transfer due to conduction, heat transfer due to convection, and heat transfer through radiation. So in heat exchanger, actually, we learn the application of this mechanism, which usually occur in heat exchanger. And this is uh, the outcome. <laughs> Okay, in order to achieve uh, the learning outcome that I listed before in a previous slide, okay, there are a list of uh, topic or subtopic. I will say that we have to learn. Okay, so here is the subtopic that we will cover, which is the first one is type of heat exchanger. Okay. There are many types of heat exchanger and the mechanism of heat transfer might be different in each type of it. So we will learn one by one uh, how is the uh, different types of heat exchanger can be function. And the next one is about the heat exchanger analysis. Okay, so for this part, it is more related to what types of equation that you can use to analyze the heat exchanger um, there are also subtopic which we call is log mean temperature difference and correction factor so these two parameters is very important in heat exchanger analysis method okay so basically there are three main types of heat exchanger uh, the first one is double pipe heat exchanger and this one uh, not commonly used in industry because uh, the heat is not much generated through this double pipe heat exchanger and the second one is shell and tube heat exchanger uh, this is the one which is uh, widely used in industry because it is very efficient to be used and the last one is cross flow heat exchanger so i will explain in uh, later uh, how can these categories of all of the categories of heat exchanger function okay the first type of heat exchanger is the double pipe heat exchanger Okay, and this is the schematic diagram for double pipe heat exchanger. Why does it call the double pipe heat exchanger? Because it consists two types, two pipes basically, where the first layer of pipe or the inside layer of pipe is consists of hot fluid, okay, and the outside layer is consists of cold fluid. And if you want to imagine the structure, it looks like Swiss roll structure swiss roll cake structure where the inside layer consists of hot fluid and the outside it is surrounded by outside layer which is consists of cold fluid and this is the resistance diagram uh, of the heat transfer occur in these types of heat exchanger well remember uh, the heat transfer uh, uh, transfer from high temperature to low temperature okay and if you notice that this diagram the hot fluid and the cold fluid is actually separated by the pipe here where it has some maybe several thickness so this 
uh, shape of the pipe here is in a form of cylinder so we will see that the heat transfer through conduction might be a curve here which is it separates by a layer of a cylinder here okay so if i want to give an example for you it will be easier if i can give example to you okay for example that our hot fluid here is actually a steam at temperature 100 give me for the writing okay and our cold sweet here may be water at temperature 25 degrees C. there you go okay so since it is separated by layer or uh, sorry thickness of pipe here so the inside layer of pipe here okay this is what we level as the inside wall okay and the outside layer here so the temperature is what we call T outside wall okay so that's why the resistance diagram here okay uh, it looks like this for example the T1 where our hot fluid temperature inside is actually 100 okay so it travels from T1 to TIW okay so it some things look like this okay so at the inside layer here ti at 100 so it travels to the inside wall layer tiw which is at this surface okay so from ti to tiw the mechanism of heat transfer here is actually convection that's why you see the, the from the equation here if this is H I okay then from inside layer it goes to another layer which is uh, outside wall okay so T outside wall okay let's say the T I here is it, it actually drops to 80 degrees C okay so it drops to 80 degrees C so here is 80 degrees C okay from inside wall to outside wall here because it occur um, in a medium in a solid medium okay so here is actually conduction that's why if you look at the equation here it consists of K as the coefficient the conduction coefficient okay so when it reach the t outside wall and this side it consists of cold sweet okay which is t2 at 25 degree c okay so maybe the our t outside wall here maybe is around maybe around like say 50 degrees C okay so it drops here to 25 degrees C okay and here because from the from outside wall layer to the region where it consists hot sorry cold fluid here okay at t2 so there will be convection occur that's why from the equation it is consists of h o w which shows that it is convection occur at this point right and this is another arrangement of the double pipe heat exchanger another types of arrangement and this is the diagram of the real heat exchanger which is usually used in industry but i will say that this type of heat exchanger not widely used because it is less efficient compared to the shell and tube heat exchanger okay now let's continue with the next type of heat exchanger which is shell and tube heat exchanger 
Okay, let's take a look at the first one, which is one shell pass and one tube pass, or we also call it as a one one exchanger. Okay, this is the diagram. Okay. If you have a look at here, the entering point uh, for cold fluid and the cool uh, sorry and the hot fluid is actually uh, in a counter flow so that's the the movement of the liquid inside this one one exchanger heat exchanger is is in a counter flow okay so for example the cold fluid here okay which is you can see is in here will enter at this point while the hot fluid which is actually inside the tube here so uh, this is the shell part okay the shell which is outside and the tube is here where it consists of the hot fluid okay so the hot fluid will enter from the bottom here so if you can see that the type of the movement of the for the liquid is in a counter current Okay, counter flow. Okay, this is what we call uh, one one heat exchanger, and the hot fluid leaves at this point, and the cold fluid leaves at this point. Okay, so I will say that the main thing about the one one heat exchanger, where the flows or the movement of the flows between the cold and the hot fluid is in counter current inside the heat exchanger okay how about the one shell pass and two tube pass or we call it as a one two exchanger <coughs> okay again here the cold fluid in is entered at the at this point and hot fluid in and it enters at this point so what's the difference between the one one and one two is actually it consists of buffle here kind of like a separate area here separate region here okay so the types of flow uh, is different okay from this region region one and region two Okay, take a look here. So at the first region here, before it pass to the buffer here, so the types of the flow between the cold fluid and hot fluid is actually in in a counter current. Okay, for example, like the cold fluid flow through this direction, and the hot fluid is at this direction okay so that's why at the first region here it flows in counter uh, counter flow so once it passed through this buffer okay the cold fluid and hot fluid flows in the same direction okay so for example this is the hot fluid okay and this is the cold fluid movement okay so this one is at the area where it flows in cold current and this is the area where it flows in counter current counter flow i would say okay uh, I will include uh, the video animation for these two type of heat exchanger in order to make it easy for you to understand uh, how is the types of the flow occur in this type of heat exchanger. So the difference between the one one shell and tube heat exchanger and one two shell and tube heat exchanger uh, will be explained in the next video. Check it out.
first type one cell and one tube pass it exchanger in one one counter flow exchanger the cold fluid enters and flows inside all the tubes in parallel in one pass the hot fluid enters at the other end and flows counter flow across the outside of the tube cross baffles are used so that the fluid is forced to flow perpendicular across the tube tank rather than parallel with it the added turbulence created by this cross flow increases the cell side heat transfer coefficient Now the next type of cell and tube pass heat exchanger is one cell pass and two tube pass heat exchanger. In one two parallel counter flow, the liquid on the tube side flows in two passes as shown, and the cell side liquid flows in one pass. In the first pass of the tube side, the cold fluid is flowing. counter flow to the hot cell side fluid in the second pass of the tube side the cold fluid flows in parallel with the hot fluid thank you viewers for watching Okay, the other type of heat exchanger is uh, called as cross flow heat exchanger. So, for the cross flow heat exchanger, is usually involved when uh, the heat transfer involving a gas flow. Okay, there are two types of cross flow heat exchanger. The first one we call it as a one fluid mix and one fluid and mix so based on the diagram here the arrangements basically uh, is like this where the liquid flow through the tubes here so there are bundles of tubes here okay containing liquid inside it and the gas will flow across uh, the tube here okay So what does it mean by one fluid mix and one fluid unmix is the one fluid mix is is referred to the gas flow because there is no uh, segregation or partic uh, or partition or whatsoever uh, to separate between the gas flow so that's why one fluid mix is referred to the gas flow and the other one is one fluid unmix one fluid and mix is referred to the fluid which is contained inside the tube if you can see here they are containing many of tubes and many numbers of tubes here so all the liquid inside the all sorry all the fluid inside the tube is not mixed to is to each other because it contain in separate tubes okay and the other one here is called as both fluid and mix okay look first at the uh, tube inside uh, sorry the fluid inside the tubes here of course it didn't mix at all because it contain in separate tubes and for gas flow here it didn't mix because it contain it consists of buffer here okay so look at there are buffer here Okay, we separate the flow according to the area or space provided here. So that's why it called as a both fluid and mix. Here we are. We come to the end part of uh, heat exchanger part one. So we already cover type of heat exchanger in part one. I just make a quick uh, uh, summary about part one. 
where we learned uh, several types of heat exchanger which is double pipe heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger and cross flow heat exchanger okay and we will continue again in part two about heat exchanger analysis all right see you again